a fine young zebra by the name of Sue. Oh, 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 oh. Meet mom and dad, Nana too, grandma, grandpa, all of you. Oh, 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 oh. I've got a friend in you. I've got a friend in Sue. I'm doing some redecorating. Could you... Oh, sorry, Dad. Can't help at the moment. I've got to take up Grandpa's newspaper. No, I meant could you try not to interrupt me when I'm busy. <sighs> Here's your newspaper, Grandpa. Oh, oh, thank you, Sue. <laughs> Grandpa, why do you get a newspaper every day? Well, every day they're different. They tell you all about what's been going on the day before, like who won the football and what's happening in the world. And how do they know? There are people who work for newspapers called reporters. They go and look for exciting stories they write down and get printed in the paper. See? Like this one. Barker braves the burglars. That's the headline. A few words to get your attention so you want to read on. <clears throat> Burglars broke into the city museum last night, but local resident Mrs. Primrose Smedley was passing by with her pet dog, Barker. When the burglars came out of the museum with a valuable painting, Barker was on hand to keep them from escaping until the police arrived to arrest the criminals. Without Barker, said Mr. Unwin, the museum curator, the museum might have lost a priceless work of art. But brave Barker saved the day. Wow! Well done, Barker! <laughs> yes. Oh, there are lots more stories like that in the paper. Though the most important story, of course, goes on the front page. Hey, I think I'd like to be a... What did you call them again? Reporter. Yes, a reporter. I'd like to be one of those when I grow up. Well, you don't have to wait. Hmm? You just need a notebook and pencil. You could start your very own newspaper today. Mm. Yes, I could. The Daily Zoo. Brilliant. Mwah. Uh, oh, Zoo, uh, before you start your paper, uh, could you take these gloves I've knitted to Nana? I will, Grandma, just as soon as I've got my reporter's notebook. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you in such a hurry? I'm looking for stories for the Daily Zoo. It's my new newspaper. Oh, that's nice. Well, I hope you find some interesting... Park. Oh. Ah, my first news story. Green bird turns white. <laughs> hmm, how about Green Bird makes Mum start her cake-making all over again? Well, 
It's not quite as good as my story. Hmm? Hmm? Huh? Oh, Pock! Is everything all right, Dad? Only just. Pock flew in and almost knocked my wallpaper paste over. There could have been a nasty accident. Disaster almost strikes as Dad decorates. Yes, that'll make a good story. Zoo started his own newspaper. Oh, I see. No, I don't. Why did Pock... I mean, how did... No time to explain. I've got to find more stories for my paper. Mum, can I go and see if anything's happened to Mr Zoe? Yes, all right, Zoo. Think of anything very exciting, Zoo. Unless you count being delivered the wrong flavour fish paste. Uh, no. I've got a story for your newspaper, Zoo. Last night, these aliens beamed down from planets big and, and they zoomed me up to their spaceship and, and they were all green and slimy mm. and they had these big bug eyes. Feelers and... Zack, do you think you might be muddling your story up with the film we were watching last night? Well, maybe. I was just trying to help. Well, thanks, Zack. Mr Zoe, I'd better be off. I've got to find some more stories for the Daily Zoo. What have we got so far? Not a lot, really. <laughs> oh! Uh-huh. That sounds like an exciting story. <coughs> now, Zinnia <coughs> dear, calm down. It's only a... Helping out. I said I'd take Nana to the shops for a couple of things. Oh, hello, Zoo dear. How's the newspaper coming along? Well, I've got a few stories, Grandma. Bird changes colour, decorating disaster, almost, alien invasion, sort of, worm fright for local girl, but nothing really exciting yet. Oh, oh dear. Nana? My stairlift! I'm stuck! Dear, Nana's stairlift! Oh. Whoa! Oh. Oh. Hmm. oh! Oh! Oh, help! <sighs> Hang on, Nana! I'll be right back with my tools. Sounds like trouble downstairs as well. Oh, dear. Has there been an accident? Is everyone all right? <laughs> I think so. Just about. Oh, uh, silly question, really. What happened? I don't know. But whatever it was, I've got my story. Havoc in the house as Nana's stairlift stops halfway down the stairs. What's happened out there? Oh, nothing to worry about. Now, we better take a look at your stair lift. Uh, uh, let's see. Hmm. Ah, ah! So that's what stopped you. Zoo was supposed to give this to you earlier on. Oh, what was it? This story's definitely going on the front page of the Daily Zoo. I just need a headline. Uh, <clears throat> How about knitting spells no go for Nana? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
You must have dropped this on the stairlift rail in your hurry to be a reporter. Oh, no. This is all my fault. Oh, I'm really sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I think you must have got a bit carried away. That's all. Uh, Zoo, dear, I hear you're a reporter now. Well, why don't you come and show me what you've been up to? I will, Nana. Just as soon as I've helped clear my mess up. Sorry, everyone. Disaster struck a family today when a glove was dropped on the stairlift by a careless young zebra. No one was hurt in the accident and the mess was soon cleared up. That's a very good newspaper report, Zoo. I think it deserves some strawberries and shortbread. And this. Oh, 